The Young and the Restless Mondays February 17 full. Lola will insist they've got some unfinished business to talk about. She'll admit she's accepted that Kyle was always going to end up with Summer. Lola will feel like her own romance with Kyle was just a brief interlude. Lola will get that Kyle wasn't trying to hurt her. Summer and Kyle will be impressed by how Lola's dealing with this, but she'll insist she wasn't fishing for compliments. After Lola wraps up her discussion with Kyle and Summer, she'll visit Abby at the Grand Phoenix. Lola will admit she handled that Skyle sighting well, but Abby will be furious that she had to endure that. Talk will turn to Miami and Abby's fears that Lola will move back there. Although Lola does intend to open her own restaurant in Miami, she'll promise she's staying in Genoa City and will remain at Society. Lola will just intend to go back and forth, so Abby will tackle her with a delighted hug. Speaking of society, Chelsea Lawson, Melissa Claire Egan, will catch up with Chloe Mitchell, Elizabeth Hendrickson, there. They'll discuss Chelsea's recent trip to Paris and what she bought while she was away. Chelsea will reflect on missing the fashion biz before she mentions that Adam went out of town on business. Despite Chloe's suspicions, Y and R spoilers say Chelsea will refuse to listen to any trash talking. After Chelsea and Chloe spot Theo Vanderway, Tyler Johnson, at the bar, they'll think he's a bad boy for sure, and will share a laugh. They'll establish that they still have men in their lives who are rule breakers. Theo will notice them looking his way, so he'll order them some drinks. After Chloe shows off her baby bump, she'll chuckle with Chelsea about how they've still got it. The Young and the Restless spoilers say Chelsea will also discuss the upcoming Newman party. Since the whole family's getting together, Chelsea won't expect it to be a pretty scene. Back with Phyllis, she'll needle Adam about how Chelsea would do anything for him. At the penthouse, Devon Hamilton, Brighton James, and Elena Dawson, Brightney Sarpy, will converse about the gala as well as clinic plans. He'll appreciate how Elena has changed his life, and she'll like that Devon's a man who can talk about his feelings. Moments later, Chance will show up with updates on the hunt for Colin Atkinson, Tristan Rogers. He was tracked to a hotel in Buenos Aires, but they just missed him by an hour. Chance will feel like this is good news since they're tightening the noose. Afterward, Chance will head back to the Grand Phoenix, where Phyllis will spot him with Abby. Phyllis will suggest she hopes the rumors aren't true. She'll ramble about a possible lawsuit from the guests who were present when Simon Black, Jeffrey Vincent Paris, put the place on lockdown. Once Abby and Chance exit, Chloe and Chelsea will waltz in. Phyllis will speak with Chelsea privately and will have a proposition. Chelsea will pass on that, but Phyllis will advise her to get interested unless she wants Adam in prison. In Devon's building, he'll be with Elena when he crosses paths with Adam in the hallway. Adam will complain about Victor Newman, Eric Braden, and how everyone will be sucking up to him at the party. Devon will gripe about how Adam doesn't know how lucky he is. Victor is Adam's father and although he isn't perfect, Devon will suggest one day he'll grieve him and regret not making things right. This conversation is an odd writing choice considering that already happened with Victor's fake death, but it sounds like this is more about Devon missing Neil Winters, Christoph St. John, than anything. Back at the coffeehouse, Summer and Kyle will reiterate that their time is now. They'll plan on going to the Newman Gala together and will lock lips. Other young and the restless spoilers say Theo will greet Lola at society. He'll be there for her if she needs to talk or anything, but Lola will suggest that what she really wants to do right now is cook, 